Hi, hello and welcome back and today we will see this question that to configure the application exam uh, at asbert user when login it will show the message welcome to the linux world so let me exit from here also yeah so first you need to sss to your whatever node 1 and node 2 machine so right now i'm considering my node 1 machine as server b i mean server b wait ssh sir name is wrong it happened server a oh sorry ssh it's not s ssh server b atr at the rate de they are done now you need to create uh, albert user first so because because albert user is not created in your case okay and whether it's created or not created you have to check it but uh, make sure it you will create it by yourself you know don't rely on their in the exam okay that had never just make sure the all the setting is correct in your hand albert user ad okay so albert is already here actually i've created it and just give it password fastwd fast albert and what password you will give him uh, the password they mentioned on exam not anything remember that okay this password you will give not anything else now back to the question uh so uh, after hitting uh, i already give it password so i'm not gonna use this uh, code here mm, so what to do we do now remember this file if you do ls okay i already created the user now let me log in to albert and then i will show you some file that you have to remember now okay after after logging into the Albert, you already see the message already popping out. Actually, I already created and I mean, I already solved this question and I will tell you how I solve this question. So there is there's two methods to solve this question. One is correct and second one is the output is correct, but uh, the, the question is uh, partially correct. Okay, so I will tell you both answers. So remember this, so first do LSI-A. And you will see here whoa nice okay you will see here okay ignore this exam to ex 200 ignore this I told you ignore this okay you, you because you are going to create it it's not already present in your machine i have created it oh let me delete this okay so you won't get confused here rm rm yeah okay it's a directory so what we need to do if it's a directory hmm, tell me this okay now let's see ls 7 a okay so remember these files these files is login files okay and uh, you have to edit this file dot bash slash profile remember this okay dot bash profile so how this file work let me tell you if you go inside this file profile if you go inside this file you will see okay let me delete here to this one to d yeah so in your case this file look like this you have to add something okay whatever you write here now it will get executed while you are logging so be sure it should be a command you know the shell script rule it should be a command if you write here like uh, cat uh, uh, etc shadow so this command will run when you once you 
and login it to that user okay so you we don't want this command to run what we want to know what what we want to run that the, it automatically print the message right and what type of message we have uh, let's say anything because this is partially correct question answer okay this is partially correct why this is partially correct why let me tell you why this is partially correct way this question yeah it tell you create application okay create an application the method we are doing right now it will just show you the message but not creating an application we have to create an application i'm just showing you okay so whatever the application will be create now so we have to run it while login and how we do that we have to edit this file and we are going to run that application by using this file and how to run a script using sh right and whatever the name of this script and in our case the script name is ex200 i hope you are understanding all this thing i'm saying here so right now we don't have any file like this i'm gonna leave it alone okay if you let me quickly exit and albert so you can see that message i have typed here there is printed right that means whatever you type there it will execute it so now we will create an application it's nothing just we are creating a, a file name as 200 make sure you are inside your albert okay and once you go inside you have to type whatever the message you want to print and this is why we do ssh guys because of this copy paste option in the exam you will save so much time by doing this copy paste method okay see easy you don't need to write it okay one thing you will ask why you're not writing that she bank she bank wide okay what is the she bank it's like this or like this well whatever bin bash right slash bin bash i'm not writing it because whenever you run a script it will run on default shell that default shell your uh, machine is working on and you know the default shell is bin bash so by doing by writing shebang command you're just telling the interpreter to use that that shell so instead of you know if we want to bin sh there is also a sh shell you know if we want to run our script in a sh shell so we will write this and there is also zsh shell so these are not defaults if we don't mention here the shell so automatically it will execute it on default shell so nothing we successfully created our application which is name as to uh, ex200 and you will say why you not write the name as dot sh okay you might say that dot sh so my dear friend remember whenever you are adding a file i mean script file into a daemon file like this profile d let me show you another file etc this is nothing okay right now wait i'm just showing you some examples ls etc dot profile okay you can't see this okay no problem there is a one pro file like that profile dot d you know uh, this type of directly accept the script file that has name dot sh at the end of it uh, dot d directory you will see in sshd config dot d right so that's a such kind of file so 
we are not writing here uh, ex200 dot sh no problem with that because why because we are uh, executing this file from where from here ls uh, ls hey we are executing this application from our dot profile dot batch profile so that's why we don't need exam dot exam uh, sorry ex200 dot sh extension okay we don't need it okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna edit our bash profile and here we will print a message i mean a command you know how to run a bash a bash script file just sh and uh, and this is this sh is what this sh is nothing but a shell okay we can type here bash also but let's say we are typing here sh and what was the name of that file uh, ax200 okay now i will ask you a question if i edit this uh, i'm if i save this file as it is okay so will it run mm, no it won't run because the file you are saying it should be uh home directory and where it is albert right if you remember this is absolute path of that okay now now it will run and exit again and uh, su uh albert welcome to linux world you can see now it's working and you successfully created your application so thank you for watching this video and i hope you it helped you a lot and if you really it really helps you then please like and like and subscribe uh, if you give your like then it will uh, make a youtube algorithm better and it will be my videos get better recommendation and i get more likes and <laughs> views so please do it thank you for thank you for watching you're watching uh let me sensei yeah, whatever okay if you have another question related to rhcsa just put on the comment section and i will make a video of it this video is a result of uh, this comment you know why i'm making this video because someone commented me what is that your channel yeah someone commented me in this one right okay cancel oh <laughs> could you please upload video on apostasis and uh, 18 question yeah i successfully uploaded the 18 question 18 question done go watch it okay okay thank you for watching guys <laughs> I'm just wasting your time and lengthening my videos so no worry sorry for that thank you again for watching this video